Good morning, dear students. I have taken this chapter, The Adventures of Toto, from your moment book, and today we are going to revise this chapter. So let's begin with this. Take out your notebooks and write down the main main points of this chapter, The Adventures of Toto. Basically, what this chapter is about, this chapter revolves around two main characters, that is Toto and Grandfather. So there are two main characters, write down. First is Toto, and second is Grandfather. So there are basically two main characters of this So there are basically two main characters, Toto and Grandfather. Toto is basically what? He is very much naughty monkey. Okay. He is very much naughty, very much mischievous. Toto is the name of a monkey. Okay. And he always gets into trouble. He always gets into trouble. On the other hand, we have another character of this chapter that is grandfather. So grandfather is a pensioner. He is basically a pensioner, okay? Who is fond of animals, okay? Pensioner and he is Fond of animals. He loves animals. But at the end of the chapter, he loses his patience. He loses his patience. And he has to return back. He has to Return back to Toto. Earlier he was very fond of Toto. He brought it to his home. But Toto was so mischievous, so naughty. He was not able to be controlled. Okay. So at last what happened? Grandfather who really loved animals, who really, he was really fond of animals. He lost his patience. And after that he had to return back to Toto. So there, there are two main characters. First one is Toto and second one is Grand Fush. Clear? So let's start about the chapter. This chapter is written by a very famous writer, Ruskin Bone. Okay, such kind of MCQs can also be asked. You should be ready. So this chapter is written by Ruskin. We are Ruskin board as a narrator. He is narrating the whole story. He is telling about Toto. He is telling about grandfather. So all the things are told by him. Okay. So there is a pretty monkey. Okay. And this pretty monkey's name is Toto. Okay. And it was purchased by a grand narrator's grandfather. It was purchased by narrator's it means Ruskin Bones grandfather, he purchased a Toto at what cost? At the cost of rupees five. Okay, so at the rupees five. And from where did they purchase it? They purchased it from a Tonga driver. One of the Tonga driver, he was having that uh, uh, Toto and he brought it to home and he thought that it would be kept in it's the private zoo. Grandfather was really fond of animals. He really loved animals. He was very passionate about them. So he thought that after purchasing that uh, Toto, that great uh, mischievous monkey, he would be keeping him in his private zoo that he has made in his home. Up to that content is clear. Okay. So Toto was very much naughty, very much mischievous. All monkeys are 
mischievous i think so but toto he was basically so much mischievous so that's why he had to be kept separate from other animals he had to be kept separate from other animals okay so when grandfather he was visiting saharanpur okay so he thought that he could not be left at home in the you can say care of other family members because they would not be able to take care of toto so that's why he made a plan that when he was moving to saharanpur he carried toto along with him so where did he put toto he took one bag and he put toto in that bag okay so when grandfather was visiting saharanpur because of some urgent work he carried toto with him and in the train and there he was concealed there he was hidden in a bag okay but don't you think that the people who are doing checking there they would not that toto uh, would not be caught definitely definitely so what happened when he was caught at saharanpur okay so grandfather was caught along with toto and he had to pay fair of toto also he had to pay that penalty also uh, fair also okay so such kind of incident is shared in this chapter okay so what happened it was a season of winter during winter season toto was taking bath using a warm water okay he was also soaping himself he was applying soap also okay and he was copying narrator as narrator used to do used to take bath used to apply soap so toto used to copy narrator okay but one very bad incident happened when he was taking bath when he was applying soap and having warm water all of a sudden he boiled himself you can say uh, alive by climbing into the tea kettle also one of the incident is told about tea kettle for bathing while the kettle was on the stove and this kettle was kept there for making tea it means he was so mischievous his mischievousness was crossing the limit day by day so that's why such kind of mishap such kind of injury such kind of accidents started occurring in their family it was so pity it was so you can say drastic that he boiled himself because of his mischievousness using that boiled water and when animals get hurt it is really inendurable to see not animal any person if they are hurt in using this thing so that is really uh, unbearable to see so because of this mischievousness toto was hurt badly he was injured badly okay so here i have shared which which kind of incident with with you the incident of saharanpur when he was moving to saharanpur okay he couldn't rely on his family members that he could be kept under the care of that so that's why he had to carry toto to, to, to saharanpur after that taking bath that incident has been described okay he boiled himself this incident has been described tea kettle when tea kettle was there kept for making tea so such kind of incident is also that such kind of injuries happened in their when he was moving to saharanpur he thought that toto should be carried with them so when he concealed when he hid toto inside a bag so on the way he was caught so that's why he was creating so much nuisance there so grandfather was caught at the railway station so he has to pay his fare also fare means ticket charges etc so he has to pay his fare also his ticket charges also clear am i clear to you no because the, he uh, i just tell you he uh, took a big, very big black canvas okay so when he was caught at saharanpur station by the ticket collector and he was classified as a dog okay 
he was classified as a dog but for telling a lie grandfather had to pay for this because he was not a dog he was a monkey okay gradually grandmother was not ready to accept a toto because toto was very mischievous different kind of animal okay so in the beginning grandmother was not accepting toto in the house and that's why he was put in the stable with a donkey okay but toto was teasing donkey also so much so that's why uh, that donkey and toto they never became friends at all okay so in winters one of the incident happened that bathing rituals he was enjoying uh, with warm water so almost he boiled himself alive there was one kettle it was also put on the stove for making tea okay nobody was there and he thought that this water would be warm enough to take a bath but this water was too much hot so he climbed in and as the water kept heating up the kept hoping it until grandmother took him out and he was barely alive he was in that water found in that water but he was barely alive but toto was not stopped at all he was doing different kind of incident like breaking plates breaking other utensils such so such kind of incidents were being continued by toto he was doing such kind of things at last when he was causing a lots of loss in the family he was causing harms in the fam family so at last grandfather had to take a very you can say hard decision that toto was not the type of that pet that could be kept at house because it was not like that dogs etc puppies etc that could be kept at home okay so at last grandfather found that tonga driver and sold back to that tonga driver his toto at what price at rupees 3 and at what price did he purchase him rupees 5 and he had to sold him back at rupees 3 at a loss such kind of question can also be asked okay and he heaved a sigh of relief so this chapter is clear this chapter was so simple i am going to ask mcqs from you listen carefully i'm keeping this content in front of you now listen carefully he could use it to hang from a branch and it was capable of scooping up any delicacy that might be out of reach of his hand who is he in the above extract are you up online student type your answer in chat box and offline student reply me who was he yes toto a monkey what is referred to as it in this extract he could use it to hang from a branch it what is it here yes very good your name is laksh very good laksh it was it is referred to totos tail okay which word in the extract means the same as picking he could use it to hang from a branch and it was capable of scooping up any delicacy that might be out to reach of his hands picking so for pick, picking which word is given in the extract tell me hanging leaving lifting scooping so what will be its answer scooping hanging word their word is scooping it was capable of dash 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 so what does capable mean here unable competent managed movable tell me the another word of he was capable of he was capable of scooping up so meaning of capable is unable competent 
अनएबल कॉम्पिटेंट मैनेज और मूवेबल चल मई ही बॉस के पेबल मेक गैसेस वन ऑफ द गैस विल बी करेक्ट यू फोर स्टूडेंट्स कैन मेक फोर गैसेस डोंट यूज योर माइंड इफ एनी पर्सन इज केपेबल ऑफ डूइंग दिस थिंग दैट टोटो मंकी ही वाज केपेबल ऑफ यूजिंग हिज टेल टू हैंग ऑन दैट ब्रांच सो इट मींस केपेबल मींस ही वाज अनएबल सो ओमिट दिस ऑप्शन he was able to moveable no so manager competent okay. yes so competent will be your correct answer he was competent he was capable but that skill he was having so from manage and competent which option will be most appropriate more appropriate it will be competent it means it, he was having such kind of ability caliber so manage he will he was not managing to do things with his tail he was competent it means he was expert he was able clear now let's move to next extract given time attend your class carefully no need if chapter is clear if you have listened the chapter carefully any of the mcq is asked you will be able to do now listen given time i'm sure he could have tied the torn pieces of your blazer into a rope and made his escape from the window given time i am sure he could have tied the torn pieces of your blazer into a rope and made his escape from the window who is speaking these words to whom who is speaking these words to whom the author to grandfather the grandfather to the author the author to his friend the friend's author to the author yes its right answer will be grandfather to author grandfather spoke these lines to author who is referred as he in this extract he yes who is he here don't sit absent minded participate in class who is he here toto find a word from the extract which means the same as school uniform jacket or coat school uniform jacket or coat what word is that used in this extract blazer which word in the extract is the opposite of capture what is the meaning of uh, capture opposite of capture opposite of capture abscond avoid rob abscond avoid rob or capture capture means yeah 
So what will be the opposite of that? Release. Release means to leave. And capture means to catch. Abscond is near to that. To release. To leave for some time. Clear? Now let's move to next. Now listen next extract very, very carefully. To his surprise, he found Nana without apparent cause, pulling at her halter and trying to keep her head as far as possible from a bundle of hay. What or who is referred as Nana in the above extract? To his surprise, he found Nana without apparent cause, pulling at her halter and trying to keep her head as far as possible from a bundle of hay. What or who is referred to as Nana in the above extract? Donkey. Which donkey? A female donkey. A female donkey. Why was she pulling at her halter? Why was she pulling at her halter? Listen the options. Because she did not like it. Because she wanted to be set free. Because Toto was biting her long ears. Because she had a habit of doing so. Very good, Vanshika. Its answer is because Toto was biting her long ears. Okay. Donkey. Next is, which word in the extract is a synonym of evident? Evident, synonym of evident. Do it very carefully. Don't make guesses. Use your mind. Okay. So synonym of evident. Surprise bundle of current. Surprise, bundle, apparent, obvious. What will be its synonym? Tell me. Tell me, hurry up, offline students. <laughs> evident. Evident means proof. That is very much clear. So its option will be? That is more appropriate. See, surprise is not. It cannot be. Bundle cannot be. Now, apparent and obvious is left. So, which option do you think is more appropriate? Yeah, yeah. Apparent or obvious? Obvious means also clear, but apparent means very much clear. Both have same meaning, but apparent is more appropriate. It means very much clear. Evidence, evidence means proof. Mm -hmm. Clue that is very much uh, right in front of you. Evident means proof, no? Evidence is a, a noun. And evident, it is an adjective. It is an, he is an evident. Evident is a noun, sorry. And evidence, that is abstract noun. Clear? Evidence and evident both are same things. Evidence, you don't, we don't require any evidence. We don't require any evidence. So evident is considered as a person and evidence is a thing. Ah. Evident is a person and evidence is a 
Yes. Next, the poor man was taken aback. Now listen, the poor man was taken aback, but with great presence of mind and much to grandfather's annoyance, he said, Sir, you have a dog with you. You will have to pay it accordingly. You have a dog with you and you have to pay accordingly. Who was poor man in the verb extract? The poor man was taken aback, but with great presence of mind and much to grandfather's annoyance, he said, sir, you have a dog with you and you will have to pay for it accordingly. Who was the poor man in the extract? Only one girl is telling the correct answer. Who was poor man? Ticket collector. Who is the poor man here? Because he has to do a lot of arguments in order to take the taxis. He was saying that, yes, it is not a dog. So there was so much disturbance created and it, he has to perform his duty. He has to pay the tax, but grandfather, he was doing a lot of argument with him. But at last, that poor man won because he was able to take the tax. Why was grandfather annoyed? Because he would be unable to sleep, because he would have to keep Toto, because he would fall ill soon, because he would have to pay for Toto's train fare. Because he would have to pay Toto's train fare. Okay? Find a word in the extract which means same as startled. Same as startled. Same meaning of startled. Think over this synonym of Startled. Synonym of startled, write down. Presence of mind accordingly. Presence of mind. Accordingly, taken aback, taken back. Taken aback, taken back. So tell me synonym of startled. Hurry up. Suppose if you don't know the meaning, you listen the extract carefully, then you will be able to relate it with the meaning. See, the poor man was taken aback, but with great presence of mind and much to grandfather's annoyance, he said, sir, you have a dog with you. You will have to pay for it accordingly. So what will be the synonym for startled? Take that aback. Clear? Am I clear? Next we have is, listen carefully. What part of speech is the word but? Listen the extract carefully again. The poor man was taken aback, but with great presence of mind. So, but is which part of speech? 
it is preposition conjunction adverb or noun so but is a conjunction okay so this was all about the chapter i'm going to discuss one or two questions with you who was nana nana was basically female donkey and how did toto tease nana when toto was kept with her in the stable at night toto teased ta uh, nana by biting her long ears with his sharp little teeth he disturbed her so much that she was not able to eat the grass so listen this content carefully any of the question mcq can be asked okay where was toto kept immediately after grandfather got him when he got him from tonga driver where it was decided to be kept tell me yeah. secret from grandmother until she was in a good mood because she always gets annoyed when grandfather bought home some of new bird or animal so he was kept in a closet tied securely to a peg in the author's room okay okay give some of the names of the author's uh, grandfather's pets a tortoise a pair of rabbits a goat a nana donkey they all were living in a big cage only uh, who was kept in a stable so nana was kept in a stable but other animals and birds they were staying in a cage okay and one new animal was added to that toto monkey so this was all about the chapter we have discussed mcqs also so tomorrow we will be doing new chapter still if you have any doubt you can ask me